like this now. <laughs> <laughs> so I was given medicine by force in the spoon. The two men will cash in, <laughs> and my mother can take me on the lap and then force the medicine. I never agreed to take any medicine. Should we do that now, Shilpa? <laughs> <Father? laughs> then he'll kill me. <laughs>
He is providing everyone's necessity. Uh, we can see that that there are elephants in Africa who is providing them food. There are millions of ants within the whole of your room who is feeding them. He is already supplying the necessities, but then why shall I bother him for supplying the necessity? He is already supplied without asking. The ants and the elephants, they do not go to the church for asking God, oh, give us our daily bread, but still they are getting. Uh, we require these things, and God has created, He has given us enough. Purna Vela, Purna Vala, Purna, Purna Vala, Everything is complete. Isha Vasamidam Sadma. Everything is completely arranged by the Supreme Law. Tatena Tatena Bhunjita. So we should be uh, cognizant how we are benefited by the Supreme Personality of Godhead and what is our duty. Perfect. He doesn't require our service. But if we are engaged in His service, that is our healthy condition. Just like this finger is part and parcel of my body. Now, I am asking the finger, keep like this, move like this. This is healthy condition of the thing. But if I want to take service from the finger in some way, but if the finger cannot serve it, this means unhealthy condition. Similarly, when we do not serve God, that is our unhealthy condition. <clears throat> that is material condition. Uh, therefore, uh, so there was a big meeting in Naimisharanda. But my opinion is that where Krishna and Arjuna are present, there will be all good fortune. He directly confirmed that Dhritarashtra could not expect victory for his side. Victory was certain for the side of Arjuna because Krishna was there. Krishna's acceptance of the post of charioteer for Arjuna was an exhibition of another opulence. Krishna is full of all opulencies, and renunciation is one of them. There are many instances of such renunciation, for Krishna is the master of renunciation. The fight was actually between Duryodhan and Yudhishthira. Arjuna was fighting on behalf of his elder brother, Yudhishthira, because Krishna and Arjuna were on the side of Yudhishthira, Yudhishthira's victory was certain. The battle was to decide who would rule the world. And Sanjaya predicted that the power would be transferred to Yudhishthira. It is also predicted here that Yudhishthira, after gaining victory in this battle, would flourish more and more because he was not only righteous and pious, but he was a strict moralist. He never spoke a lie during his life. There are many less intelligent persons who take Bhagavad Gita to be a discussion of topics between two friends in a battlefield. But such a book cannot be scripture. Some may protest that Krishna incited Arjuna to fight, which is immoral, but the reality of the situation is clearly stated. Bhagavad Gita is the supreme instruction in morality. The supreme instruction of morality is stated in the ninth chapter, in the thirty-fourth verse, Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta. One must become a devotee of Krishna, and the essence of all religion is to surrender unto Krishna. As stated, Sarva Dharman. The instructions of Bhagavad Gita constitute the supreme process of religion and of morality. All other processes may be purifying and may lead to this process. But the last instruction of the Gita 
is the last word in all morality and religion. Surrender unto Krishna. This is the verdict of the 18th chapter. From the Bhagavad Gita, we can understand that to realize oneself by philosophical speculation and by meditation is one process. But to fully surrender unto Krishna is the highest platform, is the highest perfection. This is the essence of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. The path of regulative principles according to the orders of social life and according to the different courses of religion may be a confidential path of knowledge in as far as the rituals of religion are confidential. But one is still involved with meditation and cultivation of knowledge. Surrender unto Krishna in devotional service, in full Krishna consciousness, is the most confidential instruction and is the essence of the 18th chapter. chapter. I 
Enjoy your short stay here. And Swamiji, how long are you going to stay here? The program is uh, one, week. one week. Have you got any special program you are going for lectures or? I do not know what they have arranged. The uh, my secretary is saying that it will be one. Week. Have, have, have you had any idea of Mauritius before you came here? You know my about my idea is to preach Krishna consciousness because for want of this knowledge, uh, our mission of human life is failing all over the world. Therefore, uh, I am trying to introduce this Krishna consciousness all over the world without any distinction of uh, caste, creed, color. God is for everyone. And we have forgotten the relationship with God. Therefore, we are suffering in so many ways. And His instruction is there in the Bhagavad Gita. If we follow, then we become happy. And the progress has to die quickly. This is the problem. At any moment he can die. As soon as he is on the car, seventy miles free, then he is taking the risk of dying at any moment. This is the problem. <clears throat> Relates to another. That was primitive. Now he can go hundred miles away from home for earning money and taking risk at, to die at any moment, that is progress. Is it not? Oh, yes. Formerly they are satisfied by tilling the ground, getting food grains. Huh? Now they have started factories at the cost of thousands of men's labor, some directors getting money and enjoying life like this. And these rascals, laborers, they are thinking that uh, these men are getting the profit cream of this business. We are working. Why not take ours? That is communism. There is one. And by taking, when he is cured, he will find God. It is very sweet. So then he has to recognize that there is some problem in this, living in this material world. No. He does not find any happiness on account of this too much materialistic mind. That is the disease. That is the disease. So actually the so more it he... has to be cured, cured by this bhakti yoga. So in the bhakti yoga in the beginning it will taste bitter. Therefore they do not stop. But if they take the bhakti yoga, 
then the material disease will be cured and they will find it very safe. Yes. So the more protection from being hurt. Chat, chat means hurting. So suppose if I unnecessarily hurt you, then it is the duty of the government to give you protection. So, so unless I am also punished by violence, I can, he cannot give you protection. So this is also necessary. Therefore, in the society there must be kshatriya. The brahmanas should be learned. They should give instruction, advice. The kshatriya should give protection. The vaishyas should produce economic development. And the rest they should assist shudras. That's all. This comes from many lamps. That the job is preaching consistently from the Gita. Yes, that is the supreme light. There are degrees of light. There is sunlight and there is this light. You cannot compare this light with the sunlight. <laughs> light comes from everywhere. But that does not mean the sunlight and this light is the same. No, when, when I was First of all, you understand this. You have, you have question about the light. First of all, you understand there are degrees of light. You cannot say this light and the sunlight is the same. By, by this you mean that uh, those who adapt to the light by uh, the teachings coming from the Quran or from the Bible is uh, that is your life, that is your business to study. Uh, but we give you the idea that light comes from everywhere. There is one glow on that light also light. And the sunlight is also light. You cannot think that the glow warms light and the sunlight is the same. Now it is your business to see which is glow warm light and which is sunlight. That is your business. It has been connected with uh, certain imperialistic uh, countries. Let them say all nonsense. What can I say? Every nonsense will speak something nonsense. How can I check it? There are so many nonsense. Therefore, we are trying to make all this nonsense with a human being. That is our problem. So long he is on nonsense, he will go on speaking nonsense. What can I do? Swamiji, one thing I want to know. This uh, slok, from where you have quoted this slok? Yes. Uh, this slok, Yes, yeah, it, is, it is in the third chapter of twelfth canto of Srimad Bhagavat. Have you got all the Bhagavatas? Twelfth canto? No, you don't have it. So you can not do it. There are many things that there Dampati Rati Mevahi. Simply one can understand what is the difference between the dead body and the living body. Living with the body means there is the soul. A dead body means there is no soul. Janati tattata taktadhi hang punar janma naimati māmeti kaun. The solution is there. You try to understand Krishna, then you will have 
not to accept any more material God. Simple thing. Any living being in your life, actually, already published six people. Brahma and Parabrahma. The sky is Parabrahma. The sky is Brahma. We are all Brahma. But the sky is Parabrahma. Do you think probably that uh, man can be, become perfect? Oh, yes. That is the chance of a human being. Therefore, in the human society, there is school, college, education, culture, not in the animal society. Because uh, they can be made into perfect, not the animals. So, if they are denied proper education, that is the greatest harm. They got the opportunity and the authorities are not giving them the opportunity. No, but do you mean for, uh, the perfectness is to become the God or to become the man? Right. Then I want you to cannot become God. What, uh, what perfectness means? Perfect means to become godly. Can you indulge directly into politics? Hmm? Can you indulge directly into politics? Yeah, no. Krishna, Krishna was in politics. So he instructed Arjun to fight. This is politics for the good cause. Svajyam, Akhilati Karamarajuna. The Supreme Person, Bhagavan, said, My dear Arjuna, how have these impurities come upon you? They are not at all befitting a man who knows the progressive values of life. They do not lead to higher planet, but to infamy. Purport. Krishna and the Supreme Personality of Godhead are identical. Therefore, Lord Krishna is referred to as Bhagavan throughout the Gita. Bhagavan is the ultimate in the absolute truth. Absolute truth is realized in three phases of understanding. 
namely Brahman or the impersonal all-pervasive spirit, Paramatma or the localized aspect of the Supreme within the heart of all living entities, and Bhagavan or the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, this conception of the Absolute Truth is explained thus, Vadanti tat tattva vidas tattvanga jnanam advayam dhameti paramatmeti bhavani tishabhyate The Absolute Truth is realized in three phases of understanding by the knower of the Absolute Truth, and all of them are identical. Such phases of the Absolute Truth are expressed as Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 2nd Chapter, 11th Verse. These three divine aspects can be explained by the example of the sun, which also has three different aspects. Because the body is born in America, therefore he is thinking of it. The body is born in India, therefore he is thinking in India. The body is born in Hindu family, therefore he is thinking Hindu. So, this is the, yet there not be any standard to you. So, this Krishna consciousness movement means we are trying to eradicate this conception of life, bodily conception of life. The animals, The animal, an animal, he is also thinking, I am dog, I am cat, I am cow, I am ass, on account of this bodily concept of life. And if we, human being, we also remain in that bodily concept of life, then we are no better than the animals. We also depend. So if we remain engaged only on the principles of four demands of body, then we remain animal. Our extra education requires that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, and there is necessity of the soul. If we don't come to this platform, then we remain angry. Striving for peace in the world, you need one of your gurus. Yes. Everyone is trying for peace in the world. I have already referred to the United Nations organization. They are also trying peace of the world. But one must know the right way how to bring peace in the world. Movement says the great faith in Bhagavad Gita, and uh, Gita is the result of the war. How do you explain it? The war is also necessary. When there are demons, they should be punished. But we must know who is demon and who is not demon. Just like any good state, just like our Indian state, accepting that we attain our independence by Mahatma Gandhi's nonviolent movement. But do you think? that uh, India is keeping non-violent? Yeah, Prayachate, that one can offer to me with love and devotion a flower, leaf, uh, in this way he mentions vegetarian items. He never says offer me uh, meat. So a bhakta or a devotee, he uh, eats prasadam, which means the remnants of the offering to Krishna. So he offers Krishna very nice things of halava and rasgulla and sandesh and puri and so many kachoris. 
so many samosas, so many nice things. Um, neither do we find the necessity to um, slaughter the animal and eat the flesh. We don't find uh, need for that. Although we have been ourselves brought up in such a culture, we find after taking to this process that we lose our taste for these things. We no longer require, in fact, we even shun it. If someone should offer something with meat, we will reject it immediately. We do not take any meals in the airplane. We take our meals with us. As we pay for that, first class, yes. <laughs> but still we do not. They offer and give us some proof, that's all. Coming here on Air India, the stewardess was very surprised why we weren't, they had so much and the nice elaborate uh, meals prepared, but uh, we don't take these things. We go. Nobody is interested in the spiritual life. Therefore, no customer is coming. We go to sell our goods there. Have you had a significant impact on the American society? What is that? What is that? Have you had a significant impact on the American society? The values you preach has they yes. uh, influenced American suicide degree? Oh yes. You can go in America, any country, any city, and everyone will know Hare Krishna. We're getting... Uh, that, that's not what I mean. Uh, what I mean is, have Americans started to be less violent, for instance? Or have they started to be less egoistical? Or have they started to be less... Well, not unless they system. follow our movement. But those who have followed our movement, recently there was one study that was published by a very eminent sociologist in America from the University of California, the Union Theological Center. And he stated in that book that the members of this movement, formerly they were drug-addicted hippies, and now they have become servants of Krishna and humanity, loving servants. So he has given proof through uh, intensive interviews that uh, one who follows, joins this movement, he uh, dramatically his life becomes changed. Big professor and his books are being sold in a higher circle. Professor Judah. Is the uh, Arya Ramarajana movement related to the uh, Ramda movement? Hmm. What is that? The, the moment of Shri Ramana. So, society. Yes, I do not know anyone's movement. Uh, we are pushing on our movement on the basis of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna's movement. Therefore, we have named Krishna consciousness. So, if you know about the Bhagavad Gita, then talk on that. Don't bring anyone else. Krishna mentioned that uh, Sodharma is not there. But uh, I want to know why you are uh, creating a class of sannyasis like these people to bar their uh, words. That is your ignorance. You do not know what is Sadharma. Sadharma, according to Bhagavad Gita, Sadharma means Varnasam Dharma. Uh, <clears throat> four varnas and four ashrama. Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishra, Sudra. These are four varnas. And four ashramas means Brahmachari, Grihastha, Banaprastha, and Sanya. So, uh, our Indian culture means varnasam dharma. Varnasama chara. Varnasma charavata purusena parapama Vishnu aradhate kumsha. It is a systematic way of social and spiritual life, this Varnasama. So unless one comes to this system of life, he is not a human being, he is an animal. The primary form of income is through the sale of books. Mm -hmm. Śrīla Prabhupāda has written uh, 
almost 60 books, 400 pages each. These books are published by the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust, which has headquarters in Los Angeles, London, and Bombay. And London, Los Angeles. And um, New York. And New York. So the amount of literature is quite large. First of all, we have our Back to Godhead magazine, a monthly magazine that is now being published, uh, one million copies per month. And then uh, of the books, um, Only the sale per month. Uh, the sale of the month is $250,000 per month, approximately between 3 and 3.30 in the morning. And then we take a uh, morning bath and put a uh, tea lock on the body, 12 different places. And then we uh, have uh, Mangal Arti. We worship the deity. Here we have the deity of Gornitai. Our other temples, we have Radha Krishna. And uh, after Mangal Arti, then we perform the Japa meditation. And uh, we, rec we chant at least 16 rounds on the Japa beads a da daily. That takes approximately two hours of time. Then we uh, have our classes. We have classes in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, which is 12 cantos in length, 18,000 verses, and which has been given by Srila Prabhupada with very elaborate purports for each verse. So each day... One verse is very carefully uh, studied and analyzed and understood. And then we have our uh, prashadam. We are vegetarians. We do not take any meat, fish, or eggs. And then afterwards we have our morning duties. We have so many different activities, our work. And this way the day is spent up until uh, approximately 10 o'clock at night when we take our rest. Um, we have our Guru Kul School in Dallas where we have the children of our householders. The children are sent there at the age of five and there they are uh, taught in association with other children these principles of Krishna consciousness. They are trained. They are trained in English and Sanskrit. They are trained in uh, cleanliness, uh, to be as Brahmins, to be the leaders of society. This is the present need of the modern civilization that there is no Brahmin class. And by Brahmin class, we don't mean those who are born Brahmins but those who are qualified as Brahmins. At the present moment, Brahmin simply means that one has been born a Brahmin, but that doesn't make one a qualified Brahmin. Just like if um, my father is a high court judge, that doesn't mean that I am a high court judge. I also have to go to the university and take training and be recognized by the bar. So, uh, at the present moment, there is no institution that is actually training Brahmins. And without the Brahmins, the Brahmins are meant to be the leaders of society. As Srila Prabhupada mentioned, the Van Ashram system, the leaders of that system are the Brahmins. And now we see in the modern civilization, there is no one who... Thank you very much. There is no one who... Thank you very much, Swamiji, and hope that your stay will be very fruitful after a long and large work that you have been doing throughout the world, we hope that you will be... I, I yes. want to see the living man yes. of the flesh, because yes. if they understand the importance of this moment, then my mission is successful. We, we, we will have the opportunity of saying... Yes. Jajjad Acharati Shrestha Tattva Deva Itareja, what we have to say, the leader, Yes. Whatever they do, yes. the yes. ordinary common man follows. Follows the follow shoot. That, that's fine, yes.
living man of Malaysia in the understanding of the moment, then I am sure it will be very much beneficial for anybody. So thank you very much, Chaneji, on behalf of the people of Mauritius, of all our friends, and the MBC TV who have been very kind enough, yeah, you have the chairman here, yeah, and we are very grateful to you. The whole part is under the bodily concept of right. Even big, big nation, just like your Prime Minister has gone to the United Nations, there are many big, big men in the United Nations. They will speak, and they are speaking for the last 30 years. The United Nation is formed, but they could not find any solution of the problems of life. Because the basic principle they are losing, they do not know. Uh, every one of them is thinking on the bodily platform. I am Indian, I am American, I am German, and I am Englishman, like that. Therefore there is no solution, because the basic principle is law. <clears throat> Unless we understand what is the wrong uh, on the active principle of the body? The problem cannot be solved. That's the, if you cannot diagnose the disease simply by symptomatic treatment, he cannot make the no uh, gambling, no income. This is materialistic way of life. Uh, otherwise, uh, what is the difference between uh, this life and that life? So, uh, if we stick to the materialistic way of life, it will be very, very difficult to understand uh, this Krishna consciousness moment. Why? Adanta Govi. Adanta means uncontrolled. Uncontrolled. Our senses are uncontrolled. This morning, when I was walking on the beach, we found so many things. Uh, the capsule of the Coca-Cola and <laughs> cigarette bars and so many other things. Uh, so, what is the necessity of this Coca-Cola? Uh, you don't find all these things in our society. You don't drink Coca-Cola. You don't drink Pepsi-Cola. You don't smoke. Uh, so many things which are selling in the market in huge quantity by advertisement, by victimizing the poor uh, customer. But they are called uh, unnecessary. There is no need of such thing. But Adam to go because the senses cannot be controlled, they are making business. They are making business. Unnecessary. Uh, so we have to control the senses. If we really want spiritual life, if we really want to be free from this material pattern, uh, then 
we have to learn how to control the senses. That is one. Back on. Yeah. Red one? Yes. Yeah. Very also men. There are things there. You will get in any form of it. They are loitering on the without any home. We can concern home. Therefore we are at one. This is it. The business is the same, that's all life. But we are improved. This is at one. 